Welcome to Lunchtime Stamping at Noon with Tina. I'm Tina Carini with SpongeandStamp.com and thank you for joining us today. I have a few quick announcements to make and, um, and then we'll get busy with some of our tag ideas. I have two, two tags to show you today. I think they're absolutely adorable. They're very cute and they're going to decorate any gift package that you have. Um, it's just going to jazz it up. So let's see, let's go ahead and make our announcement. For today only is free shipping on orders of $50 or more before tax. So that is today only is free shipping. Don't forget last chance sale is still going up, still going on where you can save up to 50% on um, products that are in the June June through December mini catalog. That is going to be retiring soon. And, oh, speaking of retiring, the new catalog, mini catalog, will be coming out in January. So if you would like a catalog and you're not a regular customer of mine and haven't purchased in a while or purchased from me at all, please message me or comment in, in the video. Um, that you would like a catalog so I can make sure to order one for you. Um, last chance is while supplies last and it is only going through January 3rd would be the last day. But you can save up to 50% today plus free shipping today only. Um, let's see, lots of fun paper pumpkin kit. You'll go bananas over these playful pun filled projects. So this is going to be a super, super cute Paper Pumpkin this month. So if you have not subscribed to Paper Pumpkin or if you haven't updated your Paper Pumpkin account, do so before the 10th so that you can make sure that you get this. This is an awesome kit. It, um, Paper Pumpkin is a subscription. It comes to you every month for $22. Everything in it is, is an all-exclusive kit. Everything you need to create the projects are included in the box that comes straight to your mailbox every month. My email list, if you are not part of my email list, I will be sure to put a link in the description. Or if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put it in the description down below. Um, but you want to make sure that you're on my email list so that you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing, all the sales Stampin' Up! does. All things Stampin' Up! Plus, every month I send out a free card tutorial um, that is exclusive only to my email friends. So make sure that you get on that because you don't want to miss out on anything. Sometimes Facebook doesn't, um, the posts don't reach everybody, but my emails will. Okay, and I think that's it for all of that. Hope you guys are having a wonderful December so far. Uh, mine is pretty good. Now, just a few things here and there. It's been busy. I'm always busy. When am I never busy? Um, but it is good, and I am excited for Christmas. I am not ready. I haven't even started hardly any of my shopping except for my grandkids. And so I got to get busy with that, too. I haven't sent out my Christmas cards yet, <laughs> so I've got to do that as well. I'm sure that many of you are in the same position that I am. And some of you probably have already got it all done a month ago. Um, and that is awesome. <laughs> I wish I could be more like that, but I'm not. I'm a last minute girl, but it's okay, right? All right, so let's go ahead. Let me show you the first tag that we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna change up the color a little tiny bit, but this is a tag we're gonna do. This is super easy. You can use your layering circle dies, your punches, whatever you have to create the circles you, you, you can use. Um, I am using an older paper. This is from la the last celebration we have. I think it's called Pre Peaceful Prints. So if you have this paper, you can use it. If not, you can substitute with something that you have. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and create this. So I have, um, Old Olive cardstock. I used my Stitch the Sweetly dies. I used the largest rectangle. I just thought that that was super, super cute. Again, we're using our peaceful dies. I mean, peaceful, peaceful prints. And you can use either side. You could use any pattern you'd like. Any designer series paper you would like. Hey, Lynette. 
Um, I'm gonna stay with the snow because of the snowman. I just thought that was super, super cute. So this is cut to two and three eighths by three and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down. I have done most of the work for our Facebook Live today so that you guys didn't have to watch me fumble and die cut and cut and all of that. So, um, but I will have all the measurements listed in my blog. Um, probably, probably by tonight, um, possibly tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so now I've already die cut out my circles using, using my layering circle dies. I used the three smallest ones. So we're going to go ahead and make our snowman. But first I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas and I'm going to use real red. And my Merry Christmas. This Merry Christmas I used from the stamp set for Unto Us. I just thought that that was the perfect size for our little snowman. And hopefully... I will be able to stamp this pretty straight and even. If not, we're gonna go with it. Plus I can turn my circle. That's the best thing about circles. If you don't quite stamp straight, you can kind of turn it a little bit and maneuver it around. I am gonna go ahead and adhere this piece down. I have to stop and think, because sometimes I get ahead of myself and I forget a step or two. If you want your sentiment to be a little darker like this one, I've used cherry cobbler on this one, but I thought I would go with um, real red on this one. And I think that that looks pretty straight, straight enough for me. And then I'm gonna pop up um, our next ones. If I can find my popper uppers, here they are, my dimensionals. So I'm gonna put one right here, take the backing off of that. And I'm just gonna stick it right about there. Am I in the picture? I am. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and pop it up as well. But I'm going to pop it up more, put my dimensional towards the bottom of it. Right here, just like so. And then I am going to just place that right about here. It could have come down a little further, but it's all right. And then if you want to make sure that that pops up instead of like that, you where this kind of falling down you can stick another one behind there Oops. well maybe there we go there we go so that's that now I have a piece of ribbon that I already did the frayed the ends so what I've used is the let me get the name the woven ribbon this is one of the newer in colors this is pale papaya and I just thought it was a nice compliment to this card um, or not card, but to this gift tag. Oh, thanks, Chris. So all you want to do is just start one of your ends, and then you can just kind of pull it, and it will unfray. That's all you do. So I've already done that so that you guys didn't have to watch it, but you just pull it, and then you can get it as long as you want it, or as short as you want it, and that's it. And then we're going to take a glue dot, and we're gonna glue that down like that. And then you can just stick it right up underneath, like so. I think I'm gonna fray this one a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna trim it up because I don't need it to be so long. Um, let me get my ribbon scissors. That will work much better. And you can even cut it at an angle if you'd like, however you wanna do it. But isn't that really cool? So let's take a glue dot and stick this right on here and I'm going to fold this over just like that so it looks like that and then we're going to stick another glue dot on the back side of this just like so I'm going to tuck it up under here just like that and there we go let's get these little fray things off of here and there we go. So now it's just time to decorate his face. So you can do it any way you like. You can take a marker and just draw his face on. You can take your um, backs of a paintbrush and dip it into your ink pad and just do like so, however you want to do it. But I'm using rhinestones and I'm using my basic black ones. 
And I'm going to use the largest ones for the eyeballs. So you can place your eyeballs wherever you would like to place them. And then we're going to use the smaller ones for, um, for his mouth. You can Again, you can draw his mouth. You can do however you want to do it. Remember, this is your snowman. And you make him the way you want to make him because he's going on your packages to someone special. So, there we go. Now, to make the nose, I didn't really feel like trying to cut um, a nose out, cut a triangle out. Uh, so, I've just found an easy way. You can use any dies that you have that make a triangle corner, or if you have the triangle uh, punch or die, or whatever you have. I am just using, this is the ice cream cone builder, and I thought the tip of the ice cream cone makes a perfect little nose. So I just punched that right out, and then I'm gonna put a little piece of, or a little dot of glue right where I want my nose. Take my, take your pick tool, pick my nose up, and just place my nose where I want him to be. So there we go. So we are all ready, except for putting our ribbon on. So, let's see here. Let me try to keep up with comments and stuff. I'm gonna take my hole punch. You can take any hole punch you want. If you don't have a hole punch, you can use your paper piercer and your piercing mat and just kind of wiggle it around and make a, make a hole too. And then I'm using some of this sheer ribbon in real red. I am gonna cut off a piece, right like so. And I think I'm gonna make a little, um, make it a little fancier, this one. I just put it through each end, but this one, I think what I'm gonna do, I may or may not, uh, it all depends if I can get this through this little hole. <laughs> okay, just like so. I got it backwards, but it's okay. I think that's all right. And then you can do like that. You can always put a little bow using Baker's twine or whatever you'd like to do on top of that. And then on the back side of it, before you put your snowman, you, if you have a to and from stamp, you can stamp that on the back, or you can just write to and from, a little message, however you want to make it personal, um, personalize it for you. So anyway, so that is that one. Oh, look, I forgot one thing. On this one, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I used a little Wink of Stella. We're gonna do the same thing on this one, but I think what I might try is, I'm afraid if I get it too dark though. Um, let me see. Um, you guys can always tell what I'm thinking because I click my tongue. Shoot. Where's some pool party? I think I want some pool party. If I can find my pool party. Pool party. Pool party. Okay, so I'm just gonna squish my lid a little bit here. I'm gonna show you. I am gonna take, um, I got some ink in here. I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm just gonna rub it in here. That's all I'm gonna do. I might add a little bit more. I gotta be careful though. I keep forgetting to order this, you guys. I lose my mind, I tell you. So I put some alcohol in there to kind of get it to, well, it's not gonna be very pool party. -y. I tried, right? That's all I can do. Just kind of make it look a little pool party. It's not really working. There we go. Had too much, too much Wink of Stella and not enough ink color. So anyway, you can just do like that, just to give it a little bit of an icy look, like a snowman, and just kind of go around however you want to do it. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to dab in some of the snowflakes, just to give them a little bit of sparkle too, just to jazz up our Christmas gift tag. So just like so. So that's all you have to do. Very easy gives it a little bling bling, makes it special. <laughs> All right, so how do you guys think? I hope you loved this tag because I think it's super cute and I can't wait to put it on a gift package. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be pretty easy too. I have to stop and think here though. I don't want to pull in the wrong one. Again, we're going to use the Stitch So Sweetly Largest Scalloped Die. I am bringing in um, another design from the Peaceful Prints. Again, you can use whatever uh, designer series paper that you have. You use any colors you want or whatever. Um, it's your Christmas tag. I am just here to give you some inspiration and some ideas. So I decided I would use the birch print. I thought that was really, really pretty. I'm gonna put some glue on the back of this. And we're just gonna try to center this the best that we can. Um, I'm happy with that one. And then I took one of the prints too. I think it was, it's from the Peaceful Prints as well, that has all the, the Buffalo Check um, deer on there. You can fussy cut them if you would like to, whatever. I chose not to fussy cut them. I just used a retired circle punch. Again, if you have your circle punches, if you have uh, the layering circle dies, your stitched shapes has circles in there that you can use as well. Whatever you have, or maybe you just want to use a different shape, that would be perfectly fine too. Um, so I just punched it out. We are going to pop this up using dimensionals. And I'm going to put a couple on here, especially since this is um, thin designer series paper, so it's kind of floppy. So I'm going to give it a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra support there. <laughs> and we'll take the backs off to these. Hopefully I'm not getting ahead of myself because I did not pre-make one of these. So this one, i got to remember what I had in mind. All right, and then... I went ahead and punched out some sprigs using my sprig punch. And I punched out real red sprigs. And I also used, I brought in, I know you guys can't get this anymore, but maybe you have some. I know that a lot of my customers did get this in the celebration. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the, oh shoot, I forgot the name of it. Um, dazzling something or no, no, no. Oh, I can't remember. Bedazzled designer series paper, something like that. But anyway, um, you can use that. If you don't have any of that, you can use vellum. That would be really pretty. You could use another color of cardstock to go along with whatever, with the red, or if you're choosing to do it in different colors. Um, you can use gold foil, bronze foil, copper foil, whatever you have you silver whatever you have um we're gonna go ahead and piece this together i am just going to place the the sparkly one <laughs> for a lack of better words i probably should not have adhered um this down i should have put on my sprigs first it would have been a whole lot easier but you know me Every time I get live, I always do things the hard way. I never do them the easy way. <laughs> it is what it is, right? And it's okay. It's all about having fun and creating something special for somebody. That's really and truthfully what it's all about. So I'm just using mini blue dots to kind of piece this together the way that I would like to have it piece together, hope and pray that um, where I want to stick it is not where one of my dimensionals is, which it kind of is. Actually, I want to wait on that one, and I'll show you why in just a moment. So I'm just going to take two pieces, one of each. We're going to glue those together. I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm not going to try to use the messy messy um, liquid glue even though that is my favorite glue times on a live I can tend to be really messy with it so I am not going to use it right now so I'm just going to use another glue dot where I want to stick this it's going to go I want that right under here just like so all right now we're going to take a piece of 
card stock right here. I already have one. I do not know what this measurement is. I think it's about three quarters of an inch, and it is. So this is three quarters of an inch wide. You want it long enough to stamp your image or your sentiment, and um, if you want to flag it, you want to have enough length to flag it as well. So I'm using real red. We're going to ink up. I'm using North Pole Delivery, which is from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. I love this stamp set so much. Um, I do not know how much longer it is going to be with us, but um, I do love it. I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle. Hopefully I stamped that pretty straight. Sorry, my, oh, my head got in the way. I did not ink this up well enough. Okay, let's try this one more time. I should be using my piercing mat because I think I just stamped it crooked this time too. I did. Well, shucks. I'm going with it. It's all right. It is okay. I can try to straighten it out some, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It is okay. I'm going to trim this side down. I'm going to trim this side down. Might have got that side too far. We'll see. And then I'm going to flag it again. If you, if you have the Taylor Tag Punch, you can use that to flag. If you have whatever you have that you can easily flag, you even have one of the flag punches, you can do that as well. So I want to trim this down just a little bit just to make it pretty even with the other side. Of course, I did not cut that straight, but it is all right. <laughs> That's not in the middle either. But it's all right, and you know what? Because I want this to look pretty decent, I already have one that I did. <laughs> right here, so that one's straight, flagged pretty decent. That is gonna go right across here, just like so. And before I attach that, I am gonna figure out exactly um, my sprigs to go. So. I am thinking I want them to go right about there. And this is gonna go right across here. And this is why I say it doesn't really matter um, if you punch it out because see, part of my hoof got cut off it got anyway. So you can even go across his body. You can do however you wanna do, just like so. That's how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna put some dimensionals right here and right here. Take the backs off, and then that's going to go right across here, just like so. And then we take our hole punch. I'm not seeing you guys' comments. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Hmm. Um, a hole punch, just like so. Again, we can use our, where did I put it, right here. This is the sheer ribbon in real red. We're going to go ahead and cut a piece off of that. I'm going to stick this through here. See if I can't get this the right, oops, slid out of my fingers. Okay, I'm so sorry you guys for the connection. I don't know if it's our internet or if it's just Facebook Live lately. I can't tell you. All right, so we are gonna go just like so. Pull that tight. Just like so. You can fiddle with it to get it just how you want it to be. I'm not going to fiddle too much with it, but again, you can just tie a um, baker's twine if you want to put a bow up here and make it fancier. It really all depends on you and what you like and what you want to do. And again, you can stamp to and from or you can um, write it out. I am going to write mine out this year so that will be easy. 
so there we go. So there are some two tag ideas. This one uses different colors a background. We have the black and then we have um, the old olive and then we have our deer. All right. So I hope that you guys like these tags. I hope they inspire you um, to create Christmas tags for your own gifts and really jazz up your gifts this year and have fun doing it because that's what it's really all about is having fun stamping and creating beautiful things to give to, to people to just brighten their day and i'm sure that there are a lot of folks out there that really could use um, a little bit of happiness a little bit of brightness in their lives so let's spread that this year and thank you guys so much for, oh, you're so welcome, Chris. Thank you so much for spending your after your lunchtime break with me. And don't forget about free shipping is today only. So don't forget the um, last chance sale. If you combine that and the free shipping and check out the clearance rack too. There's always great things on there that you can get at a great discount. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, make sure you do that by the before the 10th so that you can get this month month's kit all right you guys and if you're watching on youtube thank you so much and if you have not subscribed to my channel i hope that you do so um, by clicking the red subscribe button down below don't forget to ring the bell icon so that you get notified every time i load a new video and don't forget if you're not subscribed to my newsletter I hope that you subscribe to it so that you don't miss anything and you get a free card tutorial every month from me. Thank you again so much. You guys have a blessed rest of the week. Doodly doo. -doo, -doo.